Hey guys, Glader here. I'm really excited about this video because I've been working on this for the past few days and it has not been easy to get working in uh, .NET 3.5 but finally, finally, I have a working functional Unity 3D client with uh, and it's ready for features. It really is. Uh, there's no, there's not that much functionality but it's ready. I'm going to go through a little bit of the code right now because it can be a headache if you're not familiar with Unity and want to work a little bit with this. So firstly, I created a, a couple days ago a .NET 3.5 compatible compiled protobuf definitions using Pogo Proto's GitHub, which I'm sure everybody knows at this point. And uh, that this is the first step that allowed me to create a Unity 3D version. And then I did a little bit of code generation with the compiler, wrapper around Protoc, uh, created some services they don't really use them too much they're not really user facing they're internal uh, created some just a couple classes there small library right there and then I started creating the client services which is it's still a work in progress as you can see and then this one the unity 3d version which at, at the first time at first when I was making the API I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a unity version but I'm pretty sure now because it's made <laughs> Uh, so mo most of this is most of this took the uh, sorry most of this is mostly just the async layer f around REST Sharp a Unity 3D REST Sharp port so that you can communicate with the servers asynchronously in Unity. So you can't use async and wait. I'm sure there's like libraries out there to do this, but I wanted to write it myself. And so you don't really have to interact with these. Uh, tokens that you see here in these services really uh, you just have to worry about where is it you just have to worry about this right here this user facing service that uh, is injected into classes and components that you're making you can send requests request envelopes and receive response types and that's done through a callbacks sorry guys but it's async it's the only way I could come up with and PTC logins working. And let me show you how you actually get access to this service. So I, I wrote a crappy IOC container wrapper that injects things in Unity, and you can rig it up in the inspector in Unity. And so you just have to request this service, and uh, don't mind this request. This request's weird because you need the request envelope response, unlike most requests. But, yeah, you just uh, need to request this service right here by marking it with inject, and you're able to communicate with the Pokemon Go servers, assuming you're authenticated. And you can send, just like all the other bots and all those other fucking projects out there. So let's go ahead and jump into Unity and actually show it in action. There's not much, much action, though, but there's some. Gotta have that plug. And so it's just a simple UGUI in Unity. And let's see, I'll try to log in with this crap right here. This is not gonna work. Um, unlike some of those bots out there, I actually deserialized the JSON. They send down on the login error. And you get a nice little error message right there, boys. So yeah. Now let's actually try to log in. Like I said, there's not much functionality, but uh, what's it? The API is there. Let's see. Go ahead and log in with this. I'll have to watch the console because I don't really do much after this. So we get the uh, OAuth token from the login servers, and then we get the we get the auth ticket with that token from the game servers, and that basically means we're authenticated and we're ready to start sending game-related messages. So that's it. That's the point it's at, and you can start building features right now if you wanted to. I think it's really exciting. That's about it, guys. Go check out the repository, clone it, do something, fork it, whatever you want.